I've been traveling and exploring Greece for over three months now. And the more time I spend here, the more I fall in love. Of course, traveling this year has been different. And that's why for those of you who plan to visit Greece this year, I decided to create the ultimate travel guide on how to travel Greece in 2021. As of May, the entire Greece started to reopen. Restaurants, bars, clothing stores. Even though there are still some restrictions in place, like everything has to close by 11 p.m. and no music is allowed in bars and restaurants, the word on the street is that as we get into the summer months, most of those restrictions will be lifted. If you plan on traveling to Greece this summer, please keep in mind that it will be different as some places unfortunately went out of business and the process of visiting some of the historic sites might be a bit slower as they might restrict how many people can enter at once. So the first step is to decide which Greek islands you want to visit this year. Even with some restrictions and regulations still in place, there are so many things to do in Greece. While deciding on the Greek islands that's right for you, I would take into consideration your budget, activities you would like to indulge in, the type of holidays you're after, and the number of days you plan on spending in Greece. Let's break it down by an island. Santorini, arguably the most popular destination in Greece, with its steep hills, heart-stopping sunsets and unique cave hotels and Airbnbs, this romantic island is the perfect couple's destination. Some cons to consider is that it is pricey, and if you're trying to stay away from the crowds this year, keep in mind that Santorini does get pretty crowded, especially during the peak season. If you're looking for things to do in Santorini, check out my best beaches in Santorini guide. I strongly recommend visiting at least one, like a world-famous red beach. Mykonos, the queen of Cyclades and my personal favorite. With its vibrant nightlife, endless choices of waterfront restaurants with amazing Greek food and world-famous beaches, this fun island is perfect for singles, groups of friends and couples. Maybe. Some cons to consider is that Mykonos never sleeps. Well, maybe to three hours. So it's loud and fast-paced and there are tons of tourists around. So if you're looking for an authentic experience and local feel, you might not fully get it here. Crete, the biggest island in Greece. This Greek island has everything your heart desires from archaeological sites to fascinating landscapes. This island is perfect for every visitor as it's filled with places to see and activities to engage in. I was in Crete in early March and was still overwhelmed with the amount of things to do and places to explore. The cons to consider is that Crete is pretty spread out, so you will not get that small island feel. And you will need lots of days to explore the entire island. Paros, where I'm currently staying, is famous for its stunning beaches, vivid nightlife, historical monuments, and as some locals describe it, it's a perfect mix between fun Mykonos and romantic Santorini. Some of the cons to consider is that some of the parts of the island are still in the developing stages, so you will not get that luxurious feel of Santorini or Mykonos if that's what you are after. Once you chose Greek islands you want to visit, the next thing is to decide how much time you want to spend on each of them. Since things might operate a bit slower this year, you might want to give yourself more time on each island to get the full experience and to really get the feel for each place. So, I would recommend at least three days on each island. As far as transportation, this year I definitely recommend renting a car, no matter if you're traveling to Mykonos, Crete, Athens, Santorini, Paros, Milos or any other Greek island. Not only it will give you an opportunity to discover each of the islands at your own pace, but it will also keep you from the overcrowded public transportation and will allow you to get everywhere on time. Definitely check out my guide on rent in a car in Greece as it will save you lots of time and money. When it comes to traveling between the islands, I recommend taking a ferry. All of them restored their routes as per usual and, in my opinion, it's the most convenient, stress-free and pleasant way to travel between the islands. 
just make sure you book your tickets in advance and when you book, get a ticket with an assigned seat. Even though not everything will be the same this summer, as someone who has been traveling Greece for months now, I can say with all the certainty that this country, with its breathtaking landscapes, stunning and unique beaches, Greek food, architecture and hospitality offers so much that you will hardly notice that there is something that's missing. Just book everything in advance, always check the cancellation policy, come with a positive outlook and be ready to merge yourself into a slower European pace of life.